It's very beautiful what you two have. So rays of gold run through clasped hands, reaching towards the sky, soaring beyond the raindrops of yesterday, intertwining into a dance of light that disappears into the vastness of space, a formation of two souls in their moment of remembrance. A sun created by the beating of one heart, born beside the many others against the darkness, eternally reborn in the dreams of tomorrow. And if I've ever met two people that I've ever seen truly encompass that, it's you two. And you guys are inspiring. And I love being able to be a part of your guys' journey. And I wish you guys the best of luck. You mean a lot. The beauty of two people from completely different backgrounds <laughs> at two completely different stages of their lives, falling in love, fighting through life's challenges, and accepting one another without judgment. Doesn't really sound like a romance novel. <laughs> But it does sound like a love story. And that's what love stories are about. And I think you and I are building one for the ages. When I first met you, you were this over the top, beautiful, nice and sweet person. And then we survived a tornado together. Um, and you were still that person. <laughs> I don't know what this boggled my mind. And then at the hotel, that one day, I looked at you. And I told you how special you were. I realized I had flipped from, I've got my life ahead of me, this is not what I want right now, to, <laughs> oh my God, how can I be with this person for the rest of my life? And over the course of the next two to three years, you and I would figure that out. If it meant creating our own language, <laughs> If it meant sitting down and crying through how we felt, if it meant just being honest with each other about ourselves and our insecurities and the fact that while we're on a love journey together, we're also on our own love journey for ourselves and how challenging that, that can be and how that can impact what we have together. I want you to know more than anything else in the world, I'm going to accept you as you are right here, right now, today. I'm not going to demand anything else. I'm not going to expect anything else. I'm just going to love you. I'm going to ease your fears. I'll celebrate your triumphs. And I'll be your rock, just in case you stumble. I'm going to explore an adventure with you. I'm going to support you in every way that I can. And I'm going to give you whatever you need, whenever you need it. I'm going to do everything in my power to be a caring, patient, 
observant and listening parent. Because <laughs> we all need to listen from time to time. I'm going to love those boys and I'm going to treat everyone with dignity and respect. I'm going to put the family first. I'm going to keep an open mind about everything and I'm not going to judge. I'm going to keep exploring and respecting you and your sexuality and your gender. I'm going to lead with my heart and I'm never going to stop bringing the passion <laughs> and spontaneity. Okay. Maybe today, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I accept you. And I will always love you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, Imogen. That's what I usually follow that way. It's so tempting, I know. It's a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So, Emma and I like to be super cheesy with each other, so I wrote a poem. I wrote a little bit of something before the poem, but you're welcome. <laughs> okay, Imogen, three years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most loving, compassionate, and goofy person I have ever known. You have been my very best friend, friend through the good and the bad. You have been the reason I smile and you have given comfort beyond measure when I have cried, but I cry a lot. You have believed in me when no one else would, and you have shown me how to love with passion, purity, and unconditional acceptance. You are always there to ensure that I am okay, no matter the circumstances. You have loved and accepted my precious boys as your own since day one. And they absolutely adore you. I am not sure a lifetime is long enough to return all that you have given to me, but I promise the rest of my days I will spend by your side. Together we are better than we could ever have hoped to be alone. I give you my love, my trust, and my heart. My promise to you is simple. I'll endure until the end. I'll be your one and only your lover and your friend. I'll listen and I'll nurture. I'll fight and I'll be true. I will do my equal share and I will never give up on you. I'll try to do my very best to fulfill your every need. I'll walk beside you hand in hand. I'll help you to succeed. I'll be your constant equal. I'll give you room to grow. I'll tend to you when you are sick and build you up when you are low. I stand before these witnesses and make this vow to you. No matter what hard times we face, our love will make it through. I love you more than you will ever know, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life by your side. I love you. Can I kiss her now? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> that needed a kiss. Now then, now here comes the fun part. <laughs> By the power vested in me in this great state of Texas, I now pronounce you wife and wife. You may kiss your bride. We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mrs. and Mrs. Imogen and Tiffany Hilden. Oh my right fam, can I get a home? Yeah!